Dauntless is a recently fully released free-to-play action RPG by Northern developer Phoenix Labs that tasks you with protecting the realm from dangerous beasts. My name is Cassius Kent, and here are a few tips and tricks I've learned in my nearly 30 hours of playtime. Booping Behemoths Plenty of behemoths in the game can be interrupted during their attacks. Behemoths like Strike, Ember Main, and Rage Tail can be knocked out of their attacks relatively easily without much input from the player. Interruptible attacks are denoted by an indicator around the behemoth's head when they are about to strike. Hitting them with a hammer shot, empowered, repeater mine, or a warpike shot will knock them down. It's a great way to create an opening for you and your team to dish out a massive amount of damage. Empowered Repeaters Repeaters are fun and can be team oriented, but you first have to empower your weapon. If you're like me and you don't like to read, you may have missed how to empower Reload. It's quite simple, all you have to do is reload in the taint of the behemoth, and you're good to go. Empowered Reload also makes it so your mind buff is passed to your teammates as well. Always try to reload near the behemoth or you're not doing as much damage as you could be otherwise. Treat the repeaters like a shotgun and less of a pistol. You have to be up close and personal with the monster. Weapons Manual Read the manual. Yes, I know reading is for nerds, but I promise you, everything you need to know about a weapon you're picking up is in the manual. Read over what it does, read over combos, read over the button presses necessary in order to pull off those combos, etc, etc. It will save you a lot of grief in the long run, trust me. Damage Types there are several damage types in the game, denoted by the color of the damage numbers. White is base damage, yellow is part damage, red is wound damage, and blue is exhaust damage. Yellow is what you want to aim for as much as possible, as you'll be doing the most damage possible. The extra damage that pops up for wound and exhaust damage aren't actually damage to the behemoth, just to that specific part or instance of exhaust. Yellow damage should be your focus. If you stop doing yellow damage, move on to a different part when possible. Equip your cells. As you play, you'll get a myriad of cells. These cells can be inserted from the loadout menu into your weapons and armor to help add bonuses to your build. The cells come in various rarities up to purple and are usable, so don't be afraid of slotting those bad boys in. Perks are maxed at 6, so keep that in mind. Anything past 6 and you're wasting potential. Self-reviving. In Dauntless, you can bring yourself back from the dead once you are felled. However, it is better to wait until 100% danger to use your self-revives as your teammates won't be able to revive you once the danger meter is at maximum. Also, if you die inside of or dragged into Riftstalker's portal while dead, don't revive until you are out of it, as you'll still be in extreme danger inside the Shadow Realm. Heals You spawn with 5 heal potions, with no way of getting more. Use them wisely. They are refreshed automatically after each hunt. When on the Shattered Isles, 8th events are also available to heal you in the area the Behemoth is fighting in. Each of these vents has 5 uses. It's good sportsmanship to not use the entire vent. 1 or 2 uses should be enough to get you in comfortable health ranges. That's all I have for now. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you're new, welcome. I hope this video has persuaded you to subscribe. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. But whatever you decide to do, whether it's like, comment, or subscribe, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and until next time, good luck and have a great hunt.